Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Grant Egger here today with the state champ, Ethan Bessler. How's it going today, man? It's going pretty good. All right. Once again, you're the athlete of the week. Usually I don't like to squeeze athlete of the week interviews so close together, but uh, I think uh, I think this is a special circumstance. Uh, you earned two gold medals at uh, last week's state track meet uh, in the 100 meter dash and the 200 meter dash. Uh, 10.53 seconds and 26.1 seconds, 21.6. 21.6, obviously. You would have been last <laughs> if uh, the other way. Uh, I'm bad with numbers. Uh, but also two two medals and relays as well, so yep. overall uh, a full day. So, uh, you know, it's uh, almost a full week ago already. I can't believe it. But uh, how's it uh, feeling in retrospect now that uh, you've had a little bit of time to sit back and uh, soak it all in? Um, you know, just... Everywhere I've been going, I've been getting a little like congratulations from everybody, and obviously it's great to hear because it's a big accomplishment, one of my biggest biggest accomplishments. And just sitting back, it's it's crazy to even just think about it while I'm at home, like that actually happened just a week ago. Yeah, uh, tell me immediately after how how did you celebrate in the in the in the time after? Was there? A, I know uh, athletes, you guys uh, take yourselves uh, very seriously and don't always eat all the things that you want or drink all the things that you want. Uh, did you at least enjoy yourself a little bit in that respect afterwards? Well, when we got home, I went and got some ice cream with my 4x4 guys. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. That counts. All right. And then uh, there was a lot of news coming out of, uh, out of the state track meet as well. And uh, you don't have to go into a, a lot of it if you don't want, but uh, there's a lot of renewed uh, football interest as well once uh, people saw them times. What did, what did that mean to have uh, some people reaching out to you and uh, giving you some good news with that? Just opened up a lot more opportunities for me for the summer, like football camps and stuff. And obviously it's really exciting because just looking at those different kinds of teams, it just makes it more interesting for me and for everyone else. Okay. Are you excited for uh, summer uh, high school seven-on-sevens and stuff like yeah. that to get going too yeah, now? I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. All right. And then uh, that, that was your junior year of sports. It yeah. was uh, a lot of some uh, football recruiting interest and uh, some great track success. What are you uh, looking forward to of senior being, uh, you know, top dogs now? I, obviously, uh, those uh, seniors aren't uh, too far gone and you probably still see them a lot, but uh, it's going to be changing come fall. What are you looking forward to? Um, really looking most forward to football just the anticipation it's building up our whole team like we can't wait so okay excellent and then uh, the last thing I wanted to ask you is uh, you know it's always a good time to uh, congratulate other teammates and uh, on their stuff uh, do you have a teammate of the week for me can I pick <laughs> two absolutely All right, I'd say Reese Beamer and Ben Holcomb Reese she come, came up to me after both my races she was obviously very proud of me and she thought that I deserved it and it means a lot from her. Two-time medalist herself, yes. Yeah. And Ben, one of my be best friends on, on the track team, he's always there congratulating me. He's on the same 4 by one with me and he always gets, gets me hyped up and confident. All right, another good choice. Shared the podium with him on, uh, on that 4 by one Congratulations, Ethan. It's been kind of a whirlwind. I, it's always fun to fun to see when uh, good guys get uh, a lot of good kudos and uh, success. So congratulations, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next school year. Thank you.